Hello, and welcome to The A-List. I'm Suzanne Zimmerman, and with me today is world-renowned sculptor and mixed-media artist, Margaret Wharton. Her art is currently being showcased at Jean Albano Gallery in Chicago. It is my honor to have her join me here today on The A-List. Margaret, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, uh, I guess just to get this conversation started, can you tell us about um, how you started with your career? How did you take off on becoming a professional artist? Well, it wasn't planned. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea that I was going to be a professional artist. Um, I studied advertising in um, um, college and graduated with my Bachelor's of Science. Really? And then I worked in advertising for a little while, and uh, then I started a family and moved to Chicago. And I thought just for a, um, a fresher course, I, I would go to the Art Institute. So I went to the Art Institute and then just on a whim decided to get my master's. And by the time I graduated, um, I already had a gallery. Wow. So uh, it w I just fell into it. Wow. It's like being discovered in a drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> That's an artist's dream come true. <laughs> yes, I know. So I'm not really a good example. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a great example. You give us all a lot of hope. <laughs> yeah. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about the type of art that you create, mm -hmm. um, perhaps mm -hmm. what you started with and what you mm -hmm. like to do today? Well, um, I call myself a transformation artist, which means that I take objects and make other objects out of them. Um, um, let me see. Um, Did you start doing that as, as at the very beginning at the Art Institute? Yes, I, star I started oh. with welding. No, no, I started with painting. Okay. And that wasn't much, I wasn't much interested in that. Mm -hmm. So then I started welding. And then <clears throat> I discovered that I was really interested in materials, putting, you know, two or three materials together. And uh, I went through, I made work from seaweed, from window screen. Um, what else did I use? Um, well, I can't remember. <laughs> well, that actually is perfect timing because uh, that was the next thing I wanted to ask you because we yeah. do a lot of work with found object um, art here mm -hmm. at the high school. and. One of the hardest things to do is find materials. Mm -hmm. So where do you, do you go to a junkyard or what do you do? What's I your go, trick? Well, I go um, to um, flea markets and antique shops Okay. to um, find something inspiring. All right. Um, so instead, you, of, instead of going you, to an art store, you'll, you end yeah, up there. <laughs> although I might say in Michael's, I discovered a name tag on one of their shelves that said found objects. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> so didn't use, that didn't used to be there, did no, it? No, they're getting used to things, <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say, you are very ahead of the curve. I think you might have, you and some other artists out there started a trend because it, from from what I've seen in, in um, uh, just popular artwork in the last five or five or ten years, it seems like it's that your medium is becoming really popular. Yeah. But you were doing it well before. Yeah, well, it was cool. Yeah, I st actually my first chair. I I'm known for my chairs mainly. I really I spent a long time. I spent about fifteen years just working with chairs, and um, that was because they were cheap. The wood had seasoned already. Um, I just had one idea after another. Mm -hmm. um, and d did you paint paint the surface? I'm not as familiar with your chair no, collection, so no. Uh -uh. How would how would what would you do with the chairs? How would you turn it into a piece of artwork? Well, I um, actually I could skin a chair. I could once I made a chair. I took one chair and got eleven chairs out of it. 
Wow. Um, <laughs> so it was very economical. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, um, with materials in mind, mm -hmm. Um, is that how you chose to create what you made? Like if you found a really cool chair at the flea market, would then that drive the type of artwork you would make? Or would exactly. You... Oh, yes? Yeah. Okay. Well, then yeah. we won't explore the yeah. alternative. <laughs> so it really is material driven. You're, you find a, exactly. an object and create from there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic advice to pass along to my students. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so much of it really seems to be if it's got to start with the object and then you put your artist flavor onto it, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's mainly putting uh, shapes together. Um, I'm not really used to cutting out my own shapes. I just have a collection and I, you know, this would, well, it's like a wardrobe, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this would go with this and. Yeah, I like that analogy. Yeah. So you have to make it work together. Yeah. Um, and then would you use glues or wire or nails? How do you keep everything <clears throat> together? I, I, I use everything, but the main thing was came out in the late 60s um, was um, fast drying epoxy, okay. five minute epoxy. Uh -huh. So I use that mainly, but um, there are all kinds of glues okay. to use. Glue, glue is really important sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't, uh, I really could not have done my work if it hadn't have been for the five minute epoxy. Really? Yeah. That's the secret ingredient then. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, how you show your work in, in you know, galleries and museums or mm -hmm. perhaps where you've shown them or how, you, how you've come to have that opportunity? Because that's mm -hmm. very, um, uh, accomplished of you. There's mm -hmm. not many artists out there that get to that caliber. Well, as I say, I, I was very, very lucky. And um, early on, I had a um, one per person show at the um, 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 museum of uh, the Chicago Museum of Art, and um, I didn't realize what that would do for me. Um, but it opened many, many doors. Yeah, was it at the Art Institute? Or no, it wasn't was it, the Art Institute. It was actually called the Chicago, Chicago Museum of Art? The Contemporary, oh, excuse yes. me. It's yeah. the Contemporary, yeah. Okay. Excuse me. That's okay, no, I'm, I'm curious because uh, that's really interesting. So that, that expo gave you some exposure to some more the, opportunities. Yes, yes. Well, good for you. Yeah, <laughs> and then of course way back when I was invo involved with Artemisia, which um, I don't know if you've heard of Artemisia, mm -hmm. was a woman's cooperative. Okay. And um, that really helped a lot. That's great. Yeah, we had 20, we had 20 of us and we would divide it. We'd each have two women shows every month. And. Well, that's a. You got to learn, way. yeah, you got to learn how to hang your work, how, you know, you get your um, um, invitations done, You, and also you realize how hard it is to sell work. <laughs> yeah. It's very difficult. Yeah. Artwork doesn't walk out the door. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Mm -mm. I've learned that too. <laughs> um, can you tell us, uh, briefly about your experience living here locally in Riverside. Mm -hmm. um, has, how has the, is there an artist community out there and how mm -hmm. has it changed over the years? Well, I'm new to Riverside. Okay. Um, I think this is my third, this is my third year. I spent most of my time in Glenview. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I lived there for years and years and years. Okay, so you're still, still learning about around yes, here. Well, yeah. welcome. We're glad to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky us. <laughs> yeah, there is a, no, there is a um, um, community here, but I just don't know everything yet. Okay, well, maybe through this exposure, they're going to come and find you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with us mm -hmm. today. Um, it's a pleasure to teach your granddaughter here at RB. She's, she shares your creative talents, and um, thank you for inspiring my students. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching.